Hey everybody, this is Bill. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on the color and pageantry, which is our college football coverage section of the channel. Today we're going to look at the Week 10 Top 25. We're also going to take a look at who is out of the Top 25 and who's just out of the rankings looking for a spot in the rankings. In addition, we're going to review what teams or people are hot and who is not. So first, let's check out who's looking to enter next, year, next week's Top 25 and who fell out. It's an interesting part of the season, and we had five teams get knocked out of our top 25. Illinois, up at 13, fell all the way out after their home loss to Michigan State. Wake Forest dropped another game. They're out. At, they were 19th. Syracuse was 20th. They dropped another game. They're out. Oklahoma State is on the skids right now. They're out. They were 21st. And Oregon State lost a close game at Washington. They were 25th. They're out. Now, the team's looking to get in. Illinois is still having a fine season, uh, but they really laid an egg last week. Um, they've got Michigan coming up. We're going to watch them. They look like they're the class of the West, though, in the Big Ten. Baylor, they're starting to get things together. They've got great lines of scrimmage, and they could be a factor down the way here in the Big 12, along with Kansas, who is having a miraculous season already bowling. The Jayhawks are talking. Uh, Wake Forest has dropped a few in a row here, kind of surprising. They're a veteran team with a great quarterback. We'll see how they finish it out. Mississippi State, another good team. They had to hold off Auburn. They got in a mess there. They were ahead early and about let it go. Syracuse, who we mentioned. Minnesota, uh, they defeated Nebraska. Didn't look so great doing it, but they did it. Washington State, they blasted Stanford. That's a pretty good football team out there. We've been watching them all year. Louisville, they're Jekyll and Hyde. They could beat just about anybody, and they could also lose to anybody. So they're looking good out there. Coastal Carolina got a big win. Grayson McCall doing a fine job out there. Arkansas lost at home to Liberty. Man, the Razorbacks are going through tough times right now. Oklahoma State, as we mentioned, got clobbered. They're really on the skids. We're watching them. Oregon State, that tight ball game they lost at Washington. Cincinnati, they lost at UCF. And Duke is having a fine year. We're going to watch them. They're looking to go bowling. All right, looking at the top 25, starting at 25th, we've got UCF, their big victory over Cincinnati. They're at Tulane this week. That's going to be a big one. Many thought game day should have gone there. Kentucky is 24th. They got Vanderbilt this week. Notre Dame's in there at 23rd. Their schedule looks better the rest of the way. Kansas State is 22nd. They've got Baylor this week. Washington is 21st. They play Oregon this week. That could be a game to watch there. And 20th is Tulane, who we mentioned hosting UCF this weekend. Florida State is 19th. They beat the Miami Hurricanes in South Florida 45-3. What an eye-opening ball game that was. The Seminoles looked very good. Liberty is coming in at 18th. They've got UConn this week. Texas is at TCU. That's where game day is going to be. That's going to be a good football game. We're going to want to keep our eyes on that. The Horns have got a lot of potential. North Carolina State is 16th off of their big victory against Wake Forest last week. And Penn State is coming in 15th. They're going to go play Maryland this week. And that should be interesting. Maryland a little bit better this year than they have been. So Penn State at 15th. North Carolina is having a great season behind quarterback Derek May. They're 14th at 8-1. They are at Wake Forest this week. Clemson, a disappointing loss uh, out on the road to Notre Dame. Kind of exposed the Tigers this year. We didn't think they were all that great this year either, but uh, they had been looking pretty good. Uh, they're going to play Louisville this week, but right now they're 13th at 8-1. Now Ole Miss is 8-1, and, and they've shown some signs. They've got a mighty upset Alabama coming in. Uh, Ole Miss is 12th, 8-1. and one. We're going to certainly watch the Tide and the Rebels. Utah is at 11th. They're 7-2. and two. And UCLA is 10th. They're 8-1. and one. Both of those teams have conference games in the Pac-12 that they should win. Ninth is Alabama. They haven't had two losses at this point in the season in many a moon. But they're ranked number 9th. After losing at LSU on a two-point conversion on the last play of the game. What a great game that was to keep our eyes on. And LSU is now eighth. They are the highest ranked team with two losses. They lost to Florida State in the opener and Tennessee. But the Tigers have got some bite. And they took down mighty Alabama, so they're eighth. Southern Cal, they've got some defensive issues, but they are eight and one. Their only loss was by one point near the end of the game against Utah. Oregon. 
after getting bombed by Georgia in the opener, has reeled off eight in a row and looked pretty doggone good doing it. So Utah is sixth at eight and one. Now Tennessee, they were up there. You saw how the Vols were playing, but they went to Georgia and they got bit by the junkyard Bulldogs. Tennessee is eight and one. They're ranked fifth. Texas Christian is nine and zero oh under new coach Sonny Dykes. Very impressive. They've got the horns this week. That's going to be a tough game. Everybody's going to be watching. But TCU, they can make their own way to the playoff. They're currently fourth for us at nine and zero. Oh. Michigan, a powerful football team, is nine and zero. Oh. They're third. They're going to go play Nebraska, who's got all kinds of problems and looking for a new coach. They're going to roll over the Huskers in Ann Arbor on Saturday. Ohio State is second, 9-0. and Now, they did not look good at Northwestern. They won 21-7. The winds were howling. It made it tough to throw. But even still, you would think Ohio State could just line up and run on Northwestern. They didn't look all that great. But Ohio State and Michigan are on a collision course. We'll find out. One of them is going to be in the playoff, I do believe. And number one, folks, the Georgia Bulldogs. Is there really any doubt about that? They've got two teams in the top 10, Oregon and Tennessee, that they just dominated. And they really look good. The Dogs, they also got that win over Florida in that rivalry game up there in Jacksonville. So the Dogs, they're number one. They got a clean slate the rest of the way till they get to the a, excuse me, the SEC championship game. The Georgia Bulldogs, number one. So who's hot? Well, we're going to go with Liberty this week. They're firmly positioned in the top 25 after a win at Arkansas Saturday. Arkansas is a good football team now. So Liberty only has one loss. They lost at Wake Forest 37-36 after failing on a two-point conversion going for the win. Now Wake Forest, they were without their talented quarterback Sam Hartman. But even so, the Deacons are a veteran squad. They comport themselves well. So this, this defeat or loss to Wake Forest looks really good for Liberty. Now, they still got Virginia Tech, and if they can beat them, Liberty will be 2-1 and one against Power 5 opponents, two of which were either in or worthy of top 25 rankings at some point during the season. Now, if Liberty closes it out, they're going to play in a meaningful bowl game, and appropriately so. But given all this success, let's keep our eyes on Hugh Freeze, their head coach, who used to be at Ole Miss. He's got to be hot on some coaching boards with the most likely spot seemingly for him to land at Auburn. I don't know. We're going to keep our eyes on it. Hugh Freeze. But anyway, the Flames, they're hot. Now, head coach Jeff Scott, who came over from Clemson, he's been dismissed at South Florida. And a report surfaced that John Gruden, the former NFL coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Las Vegas Raiders, might be interested in the job. Of course, he lives down there in Tampa. And another report had the Bulls considering Scott Frost. Both of these guys are embattled and unemployed. This is about to go down, and we're definitely going to watch this one. Who's not hot? Well, let's go with Virginia Tech. Now, it seemed appropriate to change course from Coach Justin Fuentes, as that did not work out as many had expected there in Blacksburg. Now, enter Brent Pry, who left his defensive coordinator spot at Penn State to take over for the Hokies. Now, we must give Pry some time to see what he can accomplish, but the seas are already rough. After an embarrassing opening night loss at powerful Old Dominion, and we use the word powerful sparingly, a win over Boston College and then a win over Wofford seemed to offer hope. But now the Hokies have lost six straight. On Saturday, Georgia Tech, themselves with an interim head coach, rallied back with 12 fourth quarter points to take out the Hokies. Now, Virginia Tech is not void of talent, so even with pride just getting going, this is disappointing. Now, in looking at their remaining schedule, the Hokies visit Duke, who's playing quite well with their new head coach. They visit a ranked Liberty, who just won at Arkansas, and Virginia, their rival in state, who has raised their game up a bit in recent weeks. These are a tough time for the once formidable Hokies, but we'll keep our eye on them. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. Who's hot? Who's not? Our top 25. Who's looking to get in? Another exciting week of college football. We would love to hear your thoughts on our rankings. Drop us some comments. Let us know what you think. 
Now, please feel welcome to follow us over on Facebook at The Color and Pageantry. We do some posting over there. We invite you to like the video and subscribe to our page if you enjoy the college football coverage. But more importantly, we want to thank you for watching. Now, another fine weekend coming up. Not as many great games, but boy, keep your eyes open. Somebody's going to get beat, and we're going to talk about that next week. See you later.